Let's talk about post-closing. Oftentimes I'm on a listing appointment. There's a couple of things that I smile, smirk, whatever, because I hear them over and over again from sellers. When I first introduce the concept of pre-home inspections and educate my sellers on it, what I hear is, well, the other agent said, why would I do that? In this market, the average buyer is likely to waive the inspection contingency period altogether. Post-closing, where do you see the challenges? No one's doing inspections on those properties. Then the buyer moves in and finds out whatever they find out. Now, had there been a pre-inspection done, and from an insurance standpoint, and who's liable and, and what have you, how does this benefit the homeowner? I can tell you that quite literally I am working currently on six different lawsuits that are involving sellers and buyers for failure to disclose. It's a huge problem right now. It has escalated dramatically in the last six months to a year. And this is all related to the fact that these people felt pressured to buy the house without a home inspection and there was no pre-listing inspection. So nobody knew anything. And then when the buyer moves in, and especially in this market, he probably overpaid for the house. He probably had to bid up above asking to get the house. Trust me when I tell you, when they move in and they find out that this doesn't work or this leaks, that they are very upset. And we are involved directly in that litigation. Mostly what I do in the company, I don't literally go out and inspect that many houses anymore. I'm involved with lawyers and insurance companies to act as an expert in these things. The notion that somehow that waiving inspections is a bright idea always comes back to haunt you one way or another. Now, I don't worry a whole lot about the people that are multimillionaires. I worry about the single mom that scraped together enough money to buy a, a townhouse somewhere, and she can't afford the fact that the heating and air conditioning system is not working properly right after she moves in. Those are the people that I think we're pushing for legislation to try to make the home inspection kind of automatic so it can't be waived necessarily, because I think everybody's entitled to have one, and, and waiving them has been a huge burden on the program and the in the whole the whole marketplace right now